Hello there, just another quick thought from God's Word to keep us going this uh, Monday afternoon. Uh, just thinking about yesterday we were preaching on um, Jeroboam, the king who was offered the kingdom uh, by God uh, because the kings that ruled it had not been faithful and who proceeded to be unfaithful himself and set up idols. Uh, but as we said yesterday, it was clear by the time he got to First Kings chapter 14 that he didn't actually believe in those idols. He, he didn't go to them when he needed something. He went to God. Uh, and you know what? We often are capable of producing an idol in our life. We put something else in front of God and we put something else that's more important and we want to focus on it. And sometimes it can even take up the time that we spent um, focusing on the Lord whether it's uh, prayer time whether it's even going to church now I have to do this uh, now I have to go here now these people are more important and whatever it is uh, something takes over but then when the trouble comes we suddenly realize actually that the idols are not going to cut it there's a lot in the Psalm 115 about idols and what they are like and how powerless they are but it's interesting as well because in verse 8 it says they that make them are like them and so is everyone that trusts in them. Now in the verses before it says that they can't see, they can't hear, they can't walk, they can't speak, they can't um, breathe through their throat. And it's like, but people who trust in them, just as we are made in God's image, we make ourselves an idol uh, before very long we end up becoming like that idol. If our idol is greed, we end up becoming greedy. If our idol is something financial, if our idol is pleasure, we be end up becoming lascivious. I mean, and if our idol is uh, self-centered, then that's what we end up being. But you know what? There's the opportunity for us to trust in the, the living God. And there's the opportunity for us to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible tells us we can have the mind of Christ a renewed mind. Let the spirit of Christ dwell in us richly. Okay, take care. God bless and I'll speak to you again soon.